I couldn't have started out on a better project, uh, especially with like really good friends. We in the auditioning process, we just like bonded and became best best friends. We came out of the movie becoming brothers, and it it was an incredible movie and it was so much fun. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I've been I've been doing acting since I was in first grade, but it was just. Shakespearean plays and musicals and all of that, but um, I've never done anything to this caliber before. And uh, JJ just took us under, took in, Joel and I under his wing and taught us so much about directing, producing, all of that, writing. And um, yeah, JJ just really helped us through it. And I'm glad I went through it with Joel because I, I didn't want to feel like the only idiot on set that didn't know what to do. <laughs> Thanks, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you find it as well? Um, I found out. Uh, I, How did you find the experience? Oh, the experience. Um, well, so far I've been doing. I've done about fifty-five projects, um, insisting of uh, short films, TV, um, voiceover. You know everything basically. And I, I don't know. I've just kind of started since I was in. Uh, it's been six years. I don't know which grade I started, but um, my people would always tell my mom that I should be an acting or a comedian or something, and I always have loved to entertain people. So one year we were looking for a summer camp. We didn't know it was going to be acting, and I pointed to acting class, you know. So we went to that, and it just led one thing to another, and now I'm here, and I'm just really blessed to be here. Cool. Well, it seems like you had such a great time on set, and it really oh, yeah. comes, yeah, it comes across did. on screen. Tell me what it was like working with legends like uh, oh Steven Spielberg and J.J. Abrams. Yeah, it was awesome because with me playing the director in the movie, I just looked to J.J. and see what he was doing. He taught us so much, and uh, Steven's an amazing guy. He, he gave us some really great advice, and so did J.J. They just told us to, you know, stay in school. You need that social aspect of life, and, uh, um, yeah, just stay level-headed and know where you came from and um, remember the people that helped get mm -hmm. you there because so many people help you along the way. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I it's always been my dream, you know, to meet Steven Spielberg. And, I mean, alongside J.J. Abrams, he's my favorite director with uh, Christopher Nolan. And to meet them both in, in a span of three months, it was just, like, it was mind-blowing. I it, It's kind of weird looking back on it, but... They're incredibly nice, you know. They like Riley said, we'll give they gave us um uh what's it called? I'm sorry. Advice. Advice. Yes. They give us advice that we'll never forget and they also talked about to us about like iPhone apps, you know? <laughs> and they were just really cool guys. There was such um, a lot of secrecy around this project, so and a lot of anticipation as well. Did you get a sense for that as you were making the film? Oh yeah, I mean, uh, I thought it was kind of cool, all the secrecy surrounding it, because normally when you go into a movie, you know what's going to happen and everything, but um, I can't wait for to see my friends and family's reactions to all the you know, secrets that and twists and turns that this movie has. That will be really awesome. Yeah, I mean, the secrecy, I, I didn't even tell my grandma until two months in. You know, and by the first callback that we had, why is that so funny to you guys every time? <laughs> I just remember Gabe's joke. Okay, don't even say it. No, uh, but uh, by the first callback, I mean, we were already signing confidentiality agreements and uh, sending them back home to my sister and my dad, so it was that secret. And there were fake scripts during the auditioning process. Uh, the uh, not the audition process, but the uh, secrecy was probably one of the hardest parts for me because I really wanted to tell my friends, but at the same time, I really wanted them to be surprised. <laughs> So it was just kind of crazy. And so without giving too much away, because you can't, could one of you just sum up the film for oh, me? Oh, yeah. Um, so basically Super 8's about a group of six kids filming a zombie movie. And um, one night they go and they're filming at a train depot, and this truck turns onto the tracks and has a head-on collision with the train. I mean, like, really. It's, train cars are going everywhere. There's debris, fires, things are exploding. And we're all we're all just trying to get the heck out of there. And uh, once we make it back home, I mean, things start going missing: people, dogs, household appliances, and events happen that really just change this town's life forever. And nothing can really be explained. Yeah. Yeah. Very nicely done, both of you. And so, what do you think the appeal is for audiences, and maybe for yourselves as well, about these monster movies or these movies where this unknown creature is? I mean, I really like Jaws and stuff, so I I saw that at a really young age and. I'm still scared of sharks now, but Jaws is probably my favorite monster in a movie, if you can call that. I'd have to probably say uh, Cloverfield, because I watched that movie, and that just, like, freaked me out. Oh, I'd have to say Cloverfield and Jaws, because, like Riley, I'm still deathly afraid of sharks today. <laughs> I mean, one time me and Joel were at the Santa Monica Pier in L.A., and, um, or Santa Monica, 
California, and uh, we saw we saw like a group of ten sharks, and I, I was like, I'm not going close to those. But I mean, and the Cloverfield monster is like I don't know, 200 feet tall. You're never gonna see anything like that again. So it was crazy. Great. And so um, the visual effects in this film, I just wanted to know, as you're acting on set, are you able to get to get a sense of how the film is going to look when I it's mean, finished? That was probably one of the biggest surprises when seeing the movie was um, all the shots they used and everything and you know they when they told us to imagine the scariest thing we've ever saw when we were acting scared I, it was like 10 times scarier when we when we saw it so that was really cool yeah i mean it was definitely a huge surprise to see like what how the film came together because we would shoot it out of sequence sometimes and i mean um dang it was just crazy whenever we got to see it you know uh, we we saw 20 minutes of it like some of the reporters did, and then we were just like begging JJ for more, and he said, nope, you guys are gotta be surprised. <laughs> um, and so I just wanted to ask you, Joel, how much pressure you felt kind of no, taking on there was song. a little bit of pressure, but um, I actually kind of unloaded a lot of it on these guys, <laughs> and like also Gabe and Zach, cause like, uh, well, Riley hadn't done a project before, but I mean, he's one of my really good friends, and Riley, and Gabe and Zach too, so I just like talked to him about a lot about it, and then that that like helped take a lot of the pressure off. So yeah. they were really good friends. And just final quick question: Your favorite thing about making this film? Probably hanging out with these guys every day. I, these guys are my best friends. I know them better than most of my friends back home. Yeah. So I gotta say that 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 and doing like my own stunts, like jumping yeah. around, a lot of the, my own stunts on the train scenes. So that was yeah. fun. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, a mixture of all three of those things. Um, Three things, it was two. <laughs> two people talked. Um, definitely the experience I got out of this, um, hanging out with these guys, getting to meet some of my, some of the most memorable people ever. And uh, I mean, running through explosions, it's every teenager's dream and to get it to do it with J.J. Abrams and Steven Spielberg, it was literally a dream come true. Uh.